Hello everyone and welcome back to another INTJ University video. Today we've got a special treat for you. We're taking a closer look at four iconic INTJ characters from our favorite movies and TV shows that we couldn't get enough of. Every good story needs an INTJ character. They're intelligent, complex, and ambitious. A loner genius with an enigmatic personality, misunderstood by society with a clear goal in mind. Even if they're not the main character, they sure steal the spotlight and quickly become the breakout star. But before we dive in, please like this video and hit the subscribe button for more INTJ content. All right, let's get started. The first on our list of INTJ characters is the one and only Professor Severus Snape from Harry Potter. Brilliantly performed by the late Alan Rickman, Snape is a genius INTJ. He is smart, serious, a skilled potion master, and devotes his life to teaching defense against the dark arts at Hogwarts. In J.K. Rowling's novel, he is presented as distant, lonely, and cold. He doesn't have many friends and spends most of his time alone. He's clearly very much different from the other professors and even his students find him odd. The house he was sorted into, Slytherin, is known for its ambition, cleverness, and devotion. They're hardworking and strive for success and will try to achieve what they want, even if it involves using some questionable and not very moral methods. Snape wants to prove that he is always right. And while most of the time he is, thanks to his power of deduction and intelligence, sometimes he must use things or people to his advantage. He doesn't care about breaking the rules, as long as it proves that his theories are correct. His love for potions and the dark arts make him a formidable professor who clearly loves his job and spends a lot of time researching and studying. Even Dumbledore asks Snape for advice. Snape is a beautiful example of how INTJs tend to handle their emotions. Yes, he might seem he's not capable of showing or describing certain feelings, but the books and movies show how much he suffered in the past. He was rejected by the love of his life, and now he must save her son from the Dark Lord. INTJs are not soulless creatures. They have been hurt, experienced heartbreaks, felt sincere love, and lost someone dear to them. Snape chooses not to let these emotions disrupt him. He tries to hide them and doesn't want them to stand in his way of helping Harry. In the end, he proves his devotion to Dumbledore, and it's clear that he didn't let his past stop him from being a good person. Number 2. Wednesday Adams. You know what makes Wednesday Adams a great INTJ character? She's so good that she's even got her own TV show on Netflix. The daughter of the infamous Morticia and Gomez Adams, Wednesday is at that very special age when a girl has only one thing on her mind. Homicide. Although we hope it's just a phase. She embodies pure INTJ energy, a mastermind who carefully comes up with the most thoroughly planned scenarios possible. She's highly intelligent and often feels like she doesn't fit in any group, preferring to spend her time alone with her thoughts and ideas. She remains authentic and doesn't feel pressured to change based on external ideas and conceptions. Wednesday is an analytical thinker. She rarely shows or expresses any of her emotions and always has a good, logical reason for her behavior. Her emotions are only visible through her actions. You will never guess if she likes you or not. But there's a chance that if she doesn't want to murder you, it means she finds you cool. She's fascinated by abstract subjects like death and takes risks only for the sake of knowledge and curiosity. Wednesday doesn't like to participate in mundane activities like going for a night out with her friends because she finds that boring. Like a true INTJ, she feels she can't get anything valuable or substantial from a birthday party, but is instead fascinated by more complex and deeper plans, such as solving a murder mystery. She prefers activities where she can use her mind, solve problems, use facts, and put pieces together like a puzzle. Sometimes she can seem manipulative because she acts without comprehending other people's feelings. When she has a goal in mind, she must obtain it because she is confident she is right. That's another INTJ attribute. She might seem stubborn, but in reality, she just analyzed all possible facts and scenarios and found out the correct solution. We all know INTJs are direct people, and so is Wednesday. She is never afraid to tell her opinion, and you know she will always tell you the truth, even if you don't want to hear it. Number 3. Belle from Beauty and the Beast 
Did you know Bell from Beauty and the Beast is an INTJ? In contrast to Wednesday, Bell's fascination doesn't involve anything morbid, except maybe being in love with a literal beast, but she has a big thirst for knowledge and curiosity. She's the type of INTJ you'll always find in a library or with a book in their hand, constantly trying to learn more about the world and dig deeper into subjects others would find too difficult or pointless to understand. She doesn't fit into her community. Her small village bores her. The townspeople find her peculiar with her head up in the clouds. And she considers Gaston uninteresting and his actions very predictable. Right from her first song, we see how much she hates the small village routine. Belle knows there's more to life than that, and fate brings her to Beast. For her, he is fascinating, intriguing, unique, and a mystery she needs to solve. Unlike Gaston, Beast's behavior and patterns are interesting and new to Belle. She wants to understand his perspective and discover more about him because finally, something sparks her curiosity. But does she ever express her feelings to Beast? Not really. Belle doesn't show him how much she cares about him. She doesn't know how. Logic and emotions don't mix well for an INTJ. She prefers to keep her feelings hidden and uses her actions instead of words to prove her love and devotion. Belle is one of the fewest representations of an INTJ female in a Disney movie. Do you know any other Disney characters that are INTJ? Tell us in the comments who we've missed. Number 4. Sasuke from Naruto Do you watch Naruto? You'll be surprised to find out that Sasuke Uchiha is an INTJ. A fascinating combination between chaos and detachment. Sasuke makes for a very interesting INTJ character. He is smart, skeptical, and cynical and has a clear goal in his mind. And like many other INTJ characters, he doesn't care how he's going to achieve these goals. Sasuke sometimes uses people to his advantage and makes connections only if he considers it will be useful for achieving his targets. He is very direct and straight-spoken and doesn't mind if anyone will judge him for his character. Sasuke can't connect to anyone deeply on an emotional level and judges other characters by their skills and intelligence. Just look at how he treated Kakashi and Orochimaru. He is deeply affected by the massacring of his clan and by his relationship with his brother and father, but he doesn't show any surface emotions. He chooses to mask those feelings by having a cold, impulsive, and distant attitude. His INTJ intuition is often reflected in his fights. He can often predict his opponent's moves and defeats them by guessing their weaknesses. Sasuke is constantly trying to learn new things, such as ways of defeating his enemies and battle tactics. He learns from his mistakes and constantly wants to improve himself in battles. Yep, that's it for today's video. Do you think these characters fit the INTJ personality type? Let us know in the comments if you would like to see more videos like these. And don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye!